Hi guys, and welcome back to the Shabby Tabby Cat Cafe, where we bring you new cat content every single week. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you never miss a video again. Hi guys! Hi guys! Um, we're here to make a video um, that is requested often. Um, we used to have events where we make these feral shelters for the cats, for the feral cats. Um, we haven't had the event this year yet, we might still, but in case we don't, we want to show a step-by-step -step on how you can make it at home. It's really, really easy. This is a lifesaver for the cats that are outdoors all winter long. Um, a lot of people are inclined to put blankets and stuff out there, but once that gets wet, it turns into like solid ice, like an ice cube. and you know, cats will get hypothermia and could die from that. Yeah. So this is really a lifesaver for the cats that are on the streets during the holidays and during the winter season. So. Yeah. We're going to show you exactly how we make them. So um, when I first started making them, I did go to Walmart and I bought a ton of blankets and posted them. And I was told instantly, no blankets. So that's super, super important. Um, so don't put anything like that in there. Um, so what you need material-wise is a tote like this. We use 18 gallons. That's usually a really good size. Um, so the 18 gallon totes, the Rubbermaid ones are really good, Sterilite's really good, um, there's always sales on these. You need styrofoam, usually what I'll do is Home Depot has these long uh, like boards of styrofoam that you can get, it's in the insulation section, and cut it to size. So when you're cutting the styrofoam to size, you want to do the whole entire border, the top, the bottom, um, so you're going to put styrofoam on the top, usually we'll use uh, Gorilla Tape or some really, really sturdy tape that's going to hold it on. Um, and all of the sides, so you want three sides, the bottom, and the top. Um, <laughs> and the last thing you need is straw. And this is huge because that insulates it. Um, you don't want to use hay. A lot of people think hay and straw are the same, and they're not. So you need to use straw because that will insulate it so the cats can stay warm. And where are you going to straw? Um, you can get that. I'm not really sure. I got it at Shirley Feed. That's by us. Um, that's like a pet supply store. Any barn supply stores. Um, a lot of pet stores will have it. But don't get hay because it soaks up the water and it'll just be ruined as soon as the first snowfall or rain. Awesome. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I was able to get a, a styrofoam cooler, which is really helpful. If you can get a styrofoam cooler to fit in your bin, that's even easier than cutting all the pieces apart. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is cut a hole. This is where the cat's going to enter. You don't want to make it too big where all the cold air goes in, and you don't want to make it too small where a big fat cat can't get in. So. The goal is about six inch diameter, uh, either a square or a circle. So what we use is the easiest way to do it is with a razor blade, and then just do a nice, good sized hole that's going to be, you know, able to fit any cat. But you don't want it to be like too big because then all the cold air yeah. is going to get in. So. You know, just kind of gauge however you think. Most cats will fit through something like that. So you cut that first, and then you're going to cut your styrofoam. This happens to be a cooler. We already cut the hole. Um, that can be done with one of these also. It's really easy to cut styrofoam. And we just put it right here where the holes match up. And you can see the sides are insulated, the front, and then we have a piece for the back. And just stop it. I enjoy the cat fighting in the back. <laughs> just the best. This will be the part for the top. Make sure you tape it on really, really well, or else it'll fall in and be a bottom. So tape it up very well. Hi. This is taped on really, really well, as you can see. When you put this in, 
just put a ton in. It's going to pack down, so push it down. You know, make sure it's enough so a cat can get in it and burrow their little bodies and be covered, but not so much where they can't get in. <laughs> so confused. A lot of times it's packed tight, pull it apart. That looks kind of good. Maybe we'll put some more on top. Do you leave a space for them to get underneath, like inside, or are you just kind of, they kind of figure no, they, their way out? they do, they burrow in. That's so cute. Isn't it? So move it around, make sure a cat can get in. This one, someone definitely can. And then you want to tape the top down, just for extra reinforcement. Okay. So that's basically it. It's so simple. Um, we will include a list of supplies that you need, places that you can get them. Um, you know, the key things are straw instead of hay, make sure you insulate all the sides, and make sure you have enough space for a cat to be in there and be cozy and warm. It's a really easy and pretty cheap way to help save some lives this winter. Yes. So definitely go ahead and get yourself one of these and put it in your backyard. And if you find that your cats aren't using them, or even, even if you want to do this beforehand, sprinkle some catnip in there or some sardines or you know something to attract them so once they see it and realize what it is, they'll continue to use it. All right, thanks guys. <laughs>